Welcome to day 68 of the Atlantic Hurricane season, day 86 in the Eastern Pacific. It's the morning of August the 7th. Hello there. There are three systems currently active. Um, tropical Depression Gill, which um, weakened from a tropical storm, which we achieved briefly earlier today. Uh, we also have Hurricane Henriette, which is intensifying, will probably reach Category 2 status. And we have Tropical Storm Mankut, which is currently in the South China Sea, entering the Gulf of Tonkin, passing Hainan Island at the moment. Uh, so this is the Pacific Ocean overview. You can see all three storms currently active. Uh, Mankut on the left, uh, moving through the South China Sea towards Vietnam. Um, Gil, of course, still going towards Hawaii, just so uh, likely to pass south of the Hawaiian Islands. And Henriette, which is currently moving towards the northwest out at sea as a Category 1 hurricane. In the Atlantic, things looking fairly quiet at the moment. No new developments, as you can see here. Fairly quiet, not too much cloud cover, not too much um, signs of development anywhere in terms of um, tropical cyclones, though we do have on the models perhaps a new storm emerging from Af Africa very soon. Looking at the Indian Ocean as well, fairly quiet here. You can see not too much going on in terms of any tropical activity. We'll be looking towards uh, the Bay of Bengal region probably for this um, as time goes on into September and October. But as for now, it remains fairly inactive um, and that's likely to remain the case for a little while yet. Sea surface temperatures out in the Pacific then. Here's the eastern half of the Pacific. You can see very warm waters off Mexico and cooler waters where the two storms are at the moment. Only marginally favourable for development but is favourable nonetheless, especially for Henriette which could achieve Category 2 status very soon. And in the uh, western Pacific here you can see very warm waters off the eastern side of the Philippines. Not too much in the South China Sea. Still conducive for development but um, not as warm. And in the Gulf of Tonkin fairly warm waters as well for Mankut as it enters that region as well. So let's take a look at Tropical Depression Gill first of all. Winds 35 miles per hour, pressures 1008 millibars, current positions 13.3 degrees north, 141.5 degrees west and expected to move towards the west generally over the next five days as a tropical depression, a very weak system um, as it continues. It was a hurricane once upon a time, but that seems quite a long time ago now because Gill's been going for quite a long time, um, but is expected to continue as a depression out to, out to sea uh, towards the south of the Hawaiian Islands. Probably won't do any damage or effects on the Hawaiian Islands themselves. And this is Hurricane Henriette. As of 2 p.m. PDT, that's 9 UTC um, in the evening on August the 6th, winds 90 miles per hour, pressures 981 millibars, positions 14.7 degrees north, 132.3 degrees west, and I suspect that not too long after this update we might see Henriette being a Category 2 hurricane. That's certainly on the forecast in the next 6 to 12 hours um, as it moves towards the northwest, and it will eventually weaken as it turns back towards the west, maybe a little south element as well as it moves towards the Hawaiian Islands and will probably again pass to the south of the islands, too far to the south to cause any uh, real disruption. So this is the shear map then, you can see both systems, a Henriette on the right, the big hurricane icon and the L icon for low pressure system, uh, Gill, moving towards the west at the moment in fairly low shear environments. You can see the high shear in the red colours in particular off to the north and that's retreating slightly um, and certainly decreasing but still fairly, um, fairly damaging to any storms that uh, may enter that area. So this is Tropical Storm Manghut, currently with winds of 40 miles per hour, pressures 996 millibars. Current position is 17 degrees north, 110 degrees east, and is expected to move towards the northwest, generally past Hainan Island, possibly brushing the coast, so maybe may even making landfall the centre of the storm, and then moving on to Vietnam, where it will pass very close to Hanoi, the capital, as possibly a tropical storm, minimal tropical storm, it will make landfall as, and then weaken into a depression in land. Currently we have a blue typhoon warning in effect for southwestern China, mainly over Hainan Island, and um, storm warnings in effect for the coast of Vietnam as well, mainly the... Uh, north central and northern part of Vietnam at the moment. This is the overview of the Western Pacific. It's a little bit incomplete. There's been a few gaps here and there in the past 24 hours. So uh, you can just about see the storm Mankut forming and developing, moving off to the northwest. And you can see the very latest frames um, as it's passing Hainan Island at the moment. Um, we also have a few developments out in the uh, open ocean. Nothing classified yet, but something, uh, one or two things to watch, certainly because the models are hinting at development over in that area. And this is um, Hurricane Henriette. You can see an eye developing in those latest frames on the IR imagery there, on the floater imagery here. And um, you can see it moving generally towards the northwest, out to sea. And you can see again on the rainbow imagery there, a bit of an eye forming. Uh, the Tropical Depression Gill then moving towards the west at the moment slowly. Um, you can see it's 
not too much left of the storm now but it is still progressing towards the west uh, with some dry air towards the north of the storm um, which could cause a little bit of disruption but not too much it will probably still go as a tropical depression for a little while yet before becoming a remnant low as it moves towards Hawaii and Tropical Storm Mancot, you can see it moving towards the northwest here, um, and you can see actually uh, most of the uh, core of the storm, the cloud cover, the heavy rains, are now, well not most of it, but at least um, a good quarter, a third of it, is over the Vietnam coast into Laos as well. Um, and expected to move towards the northwest. So Hainan Island will probably get away with it really um, in terms of heavy rainfall and it will probably be mainly Vietnam that will see lots of heavy rain from that storm. Looking at the model runs then, the CMC takes um, Henriette out to sea obviously uh, with two new storms forming in the eastern Pacific after that one becoming a fairly intense hurricane and we also have in the Atlantic a storm forming as well um, in the central Atlantic in particular that was there. The ECMWF model doesn't predict too much, does predict something forming in the Atlantic off, African, off the African coast, um, but not developing, and not, at least not getting beyond the central Atlantic. Um, as for the East Pacific, only a few disturbances here and there, nothing significant. The GFS model then uh, takes uh, Henriette out uh, towards the northwest and then the south and then two new storms forming after that, certainly one storm and then another disturbance after that. And in the Atlantic as well we have a storm moving north of the Cape Verde Islands and then moving towards the west-northwest out to sea in the Atlantic. The NavGem model also takes Henriette towards the northwest and then southwest, bit of a zigzag pattern and then another storm forming after that. Um, as for the Atlantic, you can see a little bit of a low pressure system moving off and over the Cape Verde Islands in that last frame there. Um, the GFDL model, what you can see of it at least, has um, Henriette moving generally towards the northwest as predicted and then uh, moving westward and then eventually west southwestward towards the south of the Hawaiian Islands. And the HWRF model takes Henriette on a fairly similar route, it's a curve really, towards the north and then back towards the west southwest um, as a hurricane and eventually weakening as it passes the Hawaiian Islands. This is the intensity um, consensus models here. You can see all of them side by side on this uh, static map. The lines throughout the center of the storm, the vertical lines are where we are at the moment. So we're near the peak of the storm, Henriette, and it's expected to gradually weaken after that. This is the um, track. This is the actual map where it is. Uh, you can see no islands on the storm yet. Hawaii is probably just off to the left of that map. Um, the storm is expected to move towards the north and then eventually towards the west-southwest. Uh, as for the shear, the wind shear at the moment, uh, you can see it remaining quite low, at least for the next few days, possibly rising towards the uh, fourth or fifth day, the third or fourth day perhaps. Um, and sea surface temperatures are likely to drop off a little bit, eventually dipping below 26 degrees, which is the threshold, the general threshold for tropical cyclone development, and then going back up again eventually. Um, but falling below 26 degrees will probably be enough to take the storm down to a weak tropical storm at the very least. And this is the humidity comparisons as well. You can see that dipping quite a bit as well, creating a bit of a more hostile environment for uh, Henriette as time goes on. So looking at the CMC model for the Western Pacific, then you can see um, Manghut moving into Vietnam initially, followed by two systems that form in the uh, Western Pacific. Um, major ones as well, but it is a CMC model. It is fairly aggressive at times, so take these ones with a pinch of salt. But um, certainly some guidance there for possible development in the future. The GFS model is much more tame with its forecast. Um, does predict a storm moving through Luzon and then possibly becoming um, a bit more intense in the South China Sea, then headed for Taiwan or the Chinese coastline, um, and probably dissipating over China as a matter of fact um, in a few days' time. We'll see how that one pans out as well. This is the overall predicted season scores then for August the 7th. In first place is William with 71 points, Barbara in second place, Hogan Barbara with 68 points, and in third place is BFDIA Mission 2 with 64 points. That's the top three at the moment as of August the 7th. Um, there's been quite a few changes in the past few days, obviously with these new storms. You can submit your own totals at the website force13.com forward slash interactive.html. That's the main page for the interactive. Um, then you can click 2013 sub, uh, predictor season and then submit your totals, your, so t the storm totals you think will form, um, if that made any sense at all. Uh, so on this day then, August the 7th, 1964, Tropical Storm Brenda formed near Bermuda. In 1978, Tropical Storm Cora formed in the Atlantic, that one's pictured there. In 1980, uh, Hurricane Allen passed, passed, 
past the Yucatan Peninsula as a Category 5 storm. Its peak intensity 190 miles per hour and 899 millibars. In 1981, Tropical Storm Dennis formed in the Atlantic, and in 1988, Tropical Storm Alberto made landfall in Nova Scotia. In 1990, Diana made its second landfall in Mexico as a Category 2 hurricane, resulting in 139 fatalities and $91 million of damages. Three years later, Tropical Storm Brett made landfall in Trinidad and Tobago and Venezuela, resulting in 174 fatalities and $25 million of damages. And in 1995, Tropical Storm Flossie formed in the Eastern Pacific. That one's pictured there. In 1998, Tropical Storm Penny made landfall over Luzon in the Philippines. In 1999, Tropical Depression Rachel made landfall in Taiwan. In 2003, Tropical Storm Grillamo formed in the Eastern Pacific. In 2008, Tropical Storm Kika also formed in the Pacific. That might have been the Central Pacific as a matter of fact. And in 2012, Tropical Storm Gilma formed in the Eastern Pacific. That one's pictured there uh, just last year, that one formed. And don't forget, you can visit the, visit the website, force13.com forward slash stormtracking.html. That's the main page for the storm tracking information where you have the overview map where, the, uh, where you can see where the storms are on the map. Um, and at the top and bottom tables which show their intensities, uh, their current pressures as well, and indeed any warnings that are currently in effect in association with the storm. Obviously, we don't have any in the eastern and central Pacific at the moment. Now, we do have um, some warnings in effect, obviously, for Tropical Storm Mankut. Uh, which we covered earlier, but if there are any changes in that, the website is the first place you'll see it um, in between now and the next video bulletin, which will be coming up tomorrow. Um, so that's the current situation. Visit the storm tracking page for the latest information in between videos. And you can also visit the social pages as well, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Force 13 is on all three of those mediums. Uh, just search us. You should find us fairly easily enough, and uh, please do show your support by using doing the usual engagement techniques, uh, liking, subscribing, commenting, favouriting, and following or anything else that you may think of um, that you may want to do. Um, more, the more positive the better, in my opinion, but that is my opinion and if you have, if you have anything otherwise to say, I'd still like to hear it. Um, you can submit your comments just below this video or as a private message through YouTube or indeed by my personal email which you can find on the website and in many other areas. Uh, and just a reminder as well, it's 110 days until Hurricane Week 2013. This is our big feature that we do every year. It's the second time we're doing it this time. Um, just visit the website, force13.com forward slash HW2013. That's the main page for it, um, where you can find out more about it. And we're looking for collaborators as well. So please do get involved if you can. Uh, you can and also visit the discussion forum as well, which we launched two weeks ago at the website. Just click the forum button at the top right. And uh, that's the main page for that as well. And um, the next bulletin will be coming up at around midnight UTC on Thursday morning, that's August the 8th, but that's it for now.